Let's talk about everything you need to know about each trim level offered on the 2024 Toyota 4Runner. There are seven different trims offered on the 4Runner, each with its own distinct offering of style, amenities, and off-road chops. But which one might be right for your next adventure? Let's find out. In this video, we'll be covering engine and drivetrain offerings, standard features on all 2024 4Runner models, as well as standard safety features, each trim level the 4Runner is offered in, standard and optional equipment on each, and the exterior and interior color options. Nationwide inventory numbers as of the recording of this video, and we'll wrap up with our top picks. If it isn't broken, why fix it? That seems to be the philosophy of the 4Runner, both literally and figuratively. This current generation of 4Runner hasn't seen a full redesign since 2010, but it's still managed to remain desirable to plenty of buyers thanks to its utility, off-road capability, and seemingly timeless styling. Oh, and thanks to Toyota's bulletproof reliability, it literally doesn't break. These things look tough and they can back it up too. At the heart of this beast is a 4-liter Toyota V6 making 270 horsepower. Don't plan on saving any money on gas here, as the 4Runner only earns an EPA estimated 17 miles per gallon combined, but you will have a 5,000 pound towing capacity. That engine will be mated to a 5-speed. Yes, 5, not a 6, or 8, or 10, like we see on most other vehicles from this decade. A 5-speed automatic transmission. I'm fairly confident nobody's planning to buy a 4Runner to take drag racing on the weekends, at least I hope not, as you'll be working with about an 8 second 0 to 60 time. Let me just take a moment to acknowledge that yes, the 4Runner doesn't get good gas mileage and it isn't fast, but that's not what it's meant to do. It's meant to get you anywhere you want to go, road or not. While some trims come standard with 2-wheel drive, the 4-wheel drive is probably what we're all here for. All trims will be offered with part-time 4-wheel drive, except for the Limited, which is the only trim you can get with a full-time 4-wheel drive system. In case you aren't familiar with that terminology, to put it really simply, part-time four-wheel drive is what you might think of as a traditional 4x4, meaning you're in two-wheel drive until you switch into four-wheel drive. The full-time four-wheel drive on the 4Runner will come standard with a limited slip center differential and can send power to the wheels you need it to without specific driver input. Standard features for the 2024 4Runner will include an 8-inch touchscreen, Android Auto, Apple CarPlay, Bluetooth hands-free phone and audio, Sirius XM capability, USB media and charge ports, there will be one USB media port and two USB charge ports, air conditioning, second row vents, roof rails, heated power outside mirrors, LED headlights with LED high beams, LED fog lights, and LED taillights, a skid plate covering the engine front suspension, and a skid plate covering the transfer case, a windshield wiper de-icer, power windows with auto up down and jam protection in all positions, power rear lift gate window with auto up down has to be one of my favorite features of the 4Runner. Privacy glass on the rear side, quarter and rear lift gate windows. Power door locks. Remote keyless entry. Smart key system with push button start and remote illuminated entry. A backup camera with projected path. Leather wrap steering wheel. Two 12 volt DC auxiliary power outlets. That'll be one in the front and one in the cargo area. One 120 volt AC power outlet in the cargo area. A foot pedal parking brake. Sun visors with illuminated vanity mirrors and extenders, active traction control, hill start assist, and a full size spare tire. Standard safety features will include Toyota Safety Sense P, which includes pre collision system with pedestrian detection, lane departure alert, automatic high beams, and dynamic radar cruise control. It will also come standard with Toyota's Star Safety System, which includes vehicle stability control, traction control, analog brakes electronic brake force distribution, brake assist, and smart stop technology. You'll also get an anti-theft system with an engine immobilizer, driver and front passenger active headrests, lower anchors and tether anchors for child seats, a tire pressure monitoring system, rear occupancy alert, blind spot monitor with rear cross traffic alert, eight airbags, child protector rear door locks and power window lockout, daytime running lights. You'll also get a first aid kit. Now that we've covered features standard across all 4Runners, we'll move into discussing the differences in the distinct trim level offerings. Normally, the trim hierarchy of vehicles are based on price to determine where they are in the lineup, but that's not always the most logical way to understand the differences, so we won't be covering these in order of starting price. Instead, I've divided these seven different trims into three more broad groups. We'll start with the SR5 and SR5 Premium, as these are essentially a standard 4Runner, if you will. Then we'll cover the TRD Sport and Limited, as these have a pretty similar outward styling and seem to be more geared toward those looking to mostly use their 4Runner on the pavement. Last, we'll cover our off-road trims. Naturally, this group will start with the TRD off-road trim, then the TRD off-road premium, and then the iconic TRD Pro model. 
Part of why I've done this is to make it easier to cover these in a progressive way. For example, even though the TRD Sport is below the price of the SR5 Premium, that model is more logically building on the features of the SR5, while the TRD Sport is moving in a different direction. If I'm confusing you more, just disregard, as the whole goal here is to make understanding the trim offerings easier, so it should all make sense once we really get going. Lastly, even though some of these trims are available in two-wheel drive, I'm comparing all the trims with four-wheel drive for the most even comparison. All right, enough of that. Let's get started here. The entry-level 4Runner will be the SR5 4x4, starting at $42,330. Standard fare on the SR5 will be 17-inch alloy wheels, part-time four-wheel drive system, body color door handles, front and rear mud guards, an eight-speaker audio system, an eight-way power adjustable driver's seat with power lumbar support, four-way manually adjustable front passenger seat, cloth seating, downhill assist control, and mud and snow tires. Available option packages for the SR5 will be running boards for $345. For $350, you can add a sliding rear cargo deck. $805 will get you third row seating. $1,585 will get you a premium audio upgrade. That's going to add Amazon Alexa capability, HD radio, dynamic navigation, Toyota Safety Connect, and Wi-Fi hotspot capability. You can pair that premium audio with the running boards and the rear cargo deck for $2,280. Pair the premium audio with the third row seating for $2,390. Or you can get it all for $2,375. Something of note, that rear cargo deck does not seem to be compatible with the third row seating. Exterior color options for the SR5 will be nautical blue, ice cap, classic silver, Midnight Black, Barcelona Red, or Underground. Interior color options will be Black Cloth, available with all exterior colors, or Sand Beige Cloth, available with all colors except the Classic Silver. Next we have the SR5 Premium, starting at $45,390, basically $3,000 more than the SR5. This will add turn signal indicators on the side mirrors, a heated steering wheel, soft tech seating instead of cloth, heated front seats, a four-way power adjustable front passenger seat, an accessory cargo net, auto dimming rear view mirror, audio plus which includes HD radio and dynamic navigation. Available options for the SR5 premium will be running boards for $345, that sliding rear cargo deck for $350, a panoramic view monitor for $600, a power moonroof for $630, third row seating for $1,085, and the sliding rear cargo deck, again not available with the third row seats, but you can get every other option for $2,660. Exterior color options for the SR5 Premium will be Nautical Blue, Ice Cap, Classic Silver, Midnight Black, Barcelona Red, or Underground. Interior color options here will be Black Soft Tex, available with all exterior colors, or Sand Beige Soft Tex, which is available with all the colors except the Classic Silver. Moving over to something with some more flashy styling, let's talk about the 4Runner TRD Sport, starting at $45,190. The big differences here you'll notice right away are the 20-inch wheels and the more sleek-looking front fascia. You'll also get a TRD shift knob. You'll get some sport suspension. You'll also get the standard 8-speaker audio system without the HD radio or dynamic navigation that we saw on the SR5 Premium. You will get soft tech seating surfaces, that part-time four-wheel drive system, and mud and snow tires. Available options for the TRD Sport include a sliding rear cargo deck for $350. $810 will get you a technology package, which gives you the panoramic view monitor and home link. For $1,500, you can add automatic running boards. For $1,585, again, we see that premium audio upgrade, which adds the Amazon Alexa compatibility, HD radio, dynamic navigation, Toyota Safety Connect, and the Wi-Fi hotspot capability. If you want it all, you can get it all for $4,245. Exterior color options will be Nautical Blue, Ice Cap, Classic Silver, Midnight Black, Barcelona Red, Underground, or Solar Octane for an additional $425. The only interior color option will be black and graphite soft tex. Next, let's talk about the Forerunner Limited, starting at $51,725. That's over $5,500 more than the TRD Sport. Exterior styling will keep kind of the same vibes, but we'll see a ton of differences here. 
Changes from the TRD Sport will be a full-time four-wheel drive system. This will be the only trim of the 4Runner available with that full-time four-wheel drive system. A Torzen limited slip center differential with a locking feature. A front and rear parking assist sonar. Turn signal indicators on the side mirrors. Chrome exterior door handles with touch lock unlock sensors. A power moonroof. Will come standard with a JBL premium audio system with 15 speakers and a subwoofer and amplifier. Dynamic navigation. Leather seats. This is the only trim of the Forerunner that comes with leather seats as opposed to soft X or cloth. And those perforated leather seats will be heated and ventilated in the front. You'll get dual zone automatic climate control and an accessory cargo net. There are a total of five additional option packages for the Limited. $350 gets you that sliding rear cargo deck, $1,365 gets you third row seating, $1,500 gets you automatic running boards, $1,850 will get you the sliding cargo deck and the automatic running boards, and $2,865 will get you the automatic running boards and the third row seating. Exterior color options will be nautical blue, classic silver, midnight black, underground, or Windchill Pearl for an additional $425. Interior color options will be black leather or redwood leather available with all exterior colors or sand beige leather available with all exterior colors except classic silver. Let's get to the show we all came here to see, the off-road models. We'll start with the most basic, the TRD off-road model starting at $44,300. Standard features here will include 17-inch alloy wheels with black accents, mud and snow tires, part-time four-wheel drive system, a locking rear differential, multi-terrain select, crawl control, front and rear mud guards, an eight-way power adjustable driver's seat with power lumbar support, a four-way adjustable front passenger seat, cloth seating, a TRD shift knob, TRD off-road floor mats, an accessory cargo net, eight speaker audio and the audio plus system which includes HD radio. Available options on the TRD off-road will be running boards for $345, sliding rear cargo deck for $350, $1,040 adds a premium audio upgrade that adds that Amazon Alexa compatibility, HD radio, dynamic navigation, Toyota Safety Connect, and the Wi-Fi hotspot capability. $1,750 will get you the Kinetic Dynamic Suspension System. This will not only improve on-road stability but also increase off-road capability by allowing more articulation and can actually automatically disconnect the sway bars. Pretty cool. You can tick all the boxes for $3,485. Available exterior color options will be Nautical Blue, Ice Cap, Classic Silver, Midnight Black, Barcelona Red, Underground, or Solar Octane for an additional $425. The only interior option will be Black Cloth. Stepping up to the TRD Off-Road Premium, We'll add $2,580 for a starting price of $46,880. Some additions over the TRD off-road will be integrated turn signal indicators on the side mirrors, a heated steering wheel, an auto-dimming rearview mirror with home link, and premium audio which adds dynamic navigation. Available options for the TRD off-road premium include running boards for $345, $350 for a sliding rear cargo deck, a power moonroof for $630, a premium package for $850, which includes the multi-terrain monitor, and that kinetic dynamic suspension system for $1,750. Available exterior color options will be nautical blue, ice cap, classic silver, midnight black, Barcelona red, underground, or solar octane for an additional $425. The only interior option will be black and graphite soft text. Now, this channel is called Top Trims, and we finally arrived at the top trim of the 4Runner, the Big Boy TRD Pro, starting at $54,920. That's $8,000 above the TRD Off-Road Premium. For that, you'll get 17-inch matte black TRD alloy wheels, that unique Toyota front grille, TRD Pro stamped front aluminum skid plate, a TRD roof rack, TRD red lettering on the driver and front passenger headrests, TRD Pro all-weather floor mats, but it's not just all about the looks. You also get TRD Fox high-performance shocks with rear remote reservoirs, TRD tuned front springs, all-terrain tires, multi-terrain monitor with selectable front side or rear views, 
dual zone automatic climate control, and a power moonroof. Since this guy comes pretty much fully loaded, the only options you'll have here will be running boards for $345 or the sliding rear cargo deck for $350. Your exterior color options will be ice cap, midnight black, underground, or terra. Every model year, the TRD Pro has an exclusive color, and this is that color for the 2024 model year. My favorite one they've done in recent memory has been the Voodoo Blue for the 2019 model year. I think these looked incredible in that color. Here's some other ones they've done. Let me know which one was your favorite. All right, that will wrap up our trim levels. Let's talk some inventory numbers. The TRD Off-Road Premium seems to be widely available, as well as the SR5 Premium and the Limited. TRD Sport numbers seem to be real low, but the premise of a sporty pavement targeted 4Runner would seem to be kind of a niche market anyways. The base SR5 with the lowest price seems like it may actually be harder to get your hands on. On the opposite end of the spectrum, it's a pleasant surprise to see the decent amount of TRD Pro models available. Alright, let's wrap it up and get to our top picks. Let's face it, the 4Runner isn't for everyone. You'll have to sacrifice having newer technology, an engine and transmission that feel like they belong in this decade, and some of the more upscale interior design we see on newer mainstream cars and SUVs, including other Toyota models. But does any of that really matter? If you're looking to buy a 4Runner, you may be someone that prefers something tried and true, practical and reliable, and simple yet capable. And the same things that every auto journalist criticizes about this vehicle may just be what there is to love about it. It's like being able to buy a 10 year old car brand new that you could very well still be driving 20 years from now. 4Runners are just awesome. If you're just looking for value, we'd choose the SR5 Premium. It's just one trim above the base SR5 with plenty of available inventory, some worthy upgrades, and plenty of available options. Plus, if you're someone who's planning on wheeling and making some modifications and upgrades of your own, this might be the perfect starting platform, and you can get it with a third row. For plenty of capability right out of the gate, you can get plenty of off-road goodness with the TRD off-road trim for not that much more than an SR5, which is great. With that, our top pick is going to be the TRD Off-Road Premium. This adds niceties above the TRD Off-Road for not really that much more money, and comes in about $3,000 less than a limited trim, and $8,000 less than a TRD Pro. You still have options to add the Kinetic Dynamic Suspension System, which will add even more off-road capability, and you'd still come in below the price of the TRD Pro. Now, it's simply not possible to do a 4Runner video and not talk about the top TRD Pro trim. It has plenty of upgrades, sure. But it's $8,000 more than a TRD Off-Road Premium. This is not the one you get if you're going for value, but that's not what it's meant for. This is for the buyer who wants the best and the baddest 4Runner and nothing less will do. It's for someone who wants something special. And while it's not the top pick for today, and not what I'd recommend for every buyer of the 4Runner, it's probably the one I'd be looking for. Make sure to let us know in the comments which 4Runner you choose, and let us know which car you'd like to see us break down next. Thanks so much for watching. Until next time, stay safe, and remember, life's too short to drive a base model.